And we back! Everybody in the NBA world knows that Kevin Durant requested a trade the other day, and, and the Brooklyn Nets are just trying to figure out what exactly that trade is. Is this team interested? Do they want to give up this piece? How many first round picks? There's so many things, so many conversations going on. And it makes sense. The Brooklyn Nets are taking their time. Why do they need to make a trade right now? But I gotta admit, my patience has run out. I am waiting to see what jersey Kevin Durant will put on next season. So like we do, uh, I took it to my own hands. Today we are trading Kevin Durant and then rebuilding the Brooklyn Nets with whatever package we get. Now you're like, Kenny, how do we decide which trade we're gonna do? Where well, I went to ESPN, Bleach Report, Sports Illustrated. A, a lot of different places put together their own uh, Kevin Durant trade packages, and you know what we gotta do. We put it all on the wheel, we're gonna spin it, and whatever trade package we land on, that is the trade we're gonna do. Now listen, I'm not saying every single one of these trades is realistic. But I put it on the wheel so I don't see the comments. Oh, Kenny, you you put this PC in and not this piece. It wasn't my trades. Actually, a lot of these trades, um, I don't like if I'm the Brooklyn Nets. But I have to do what I have to do. We have to rebuild given the circumstances. Oh, and I'm also just going to trade Kyrie for Russell Westbrook in the first round pick just to get that out of the way. Uh, we are really rebuilding the Brooklyn Nets. Leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. Is it a coincidence? I have a... Uh, what Texas shirt on today? Absolutely, Absol absolutely. Um, I did not know I was filming a Kevin Durant video this morning when I woke up, but we're rocking a Texas shirt. All right, so there are eight different trades from eight different organizations. We have the Suns, the Blazers, the Pelicans, the Warriors, the Heat, the Grizzlies, and the Raptors. Oh, that's seven, not eight. There are seven different trade packages, and we're gonna spin this wheel and accept whatever, or, or low key, not accept. We have to force the trade because. The way they talking, it's multiple pieces plus first round picks. You know, in the game with 2K, it don't matter if you have Michael Jordan getting a really good player slash young players. The first round picks don't really happen like that. Usually, we are the team giving up that assets. We usually ain't the team that's traded for. Let's get into it, man. We are trading Kevin Durant to the Phoenix Suns. Is that the lamest outcome? Not, not like, and I only mean lame. Because this is a team that he wants to go to. All right, let's see what the trade package is. This one was from Bleach Report. It is DeAndre Ayton on a sign and trade. Mikael Bridges, a 2023 first round pick. A 2025 first round pick, unprotected. A 2027 first round pick, unprotected. A 2029 first round pick, unprotected. So it's Mikael, it is Ayton, and three first round picks, unprotected. Let's do it. But let's take a look at what these other trades look like. Because again, these are from Bleach Report, ESPN, and all that stuff. One of them is Scotty Barnes. I think I read this morning that the Raptors are interested, but not if Scotty Barnes is involved. But this this um, article has Scotty. I would have liked to stray Scotty, OG, Preston Chuya, Malachi Flynn, Kim Birch. One first round pick, two first round picks, three first round picks. That's crazy to get Scotty Barnes three first round picks and some stuff. Then you got Jaron Jackson Jr., Desmond Bain, Danny Green, a first round pick, two first round picks, three first round picks. All right. Then we get um, the Heat, Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovich, Duncan Robinson, Kyle Lowry, Max Struess, uh, uh, Yard 7, three first round picks, and two swaps. Then you got the Warriors one, which is Jordan Poole, Wiggins, Kaminga, Wiseman, and two first round picks. That is a ton, by the way. Pelicans had Brandon Ingram, Vontae Graham, Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, and two first round picks. And then the Blazers saw Anthony Simons, Shaden Sharp, uh, Josh Hart, three first round picks, and three swaps. But we have to go with the Suns. Another reminder to leave a like on the video. We are shooting for 20,000. I don't normally do uh, like like goals, but at this point, what, what do I have to lose? You know what I'm saying? Let me uh, turn on override trades for this because that's the only way we're going to make this trade go through. Even though this morning TJ Warren signed to us. Actually, TJ Warren just signed to us. Hold on. Let me get TJ Warren because we are the Brooklyn Nets and we're going to take every asset that we can get. So let me sign TJ Warren after we turn off salary cap because bro won a ton of money. In the game in 2K, you cannot... um. You cannot convince someone that he's coming off multiple major injuries and that he should take a minimum. This video is off the rails already, um, but that's what you're here for, huh? isn't it? That's what you're here for. So let me go on here, pick up TJ Warren as well, and let's go trade Kevin Durant. It's, what was it, KD? Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting as heck. It's KD for DeAndre Aiden. It was Mikael Bridges. It was a 2023 first round pick unprotected. It was a 2025 first round pick unprotected, a 2027 first round and a 2029. I can't even go to 2027 just yet. So just know you owe me two more picks and we gonna get those picks later. So that deal is done. And then the last trade we wanna do, like I said, I am, I am trading Kyrie Irving for Russell Westbrook in a first round pick. Uh, we're gonna buy Russell Westbrook out and let him go to his next team. I didn't even realize bro was down to a 78. Sheesh, that's so crazy. Give me 2025. 
Cool. Now I'm recording this video July 5th at 11 p.m. Now if this man actually gets traded in the next couple days and this video is not not like real anymore, I'm gonna be so upset. But whatever, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Content, baby. All right, I turned off trade override and I put back on the salary cap. And um, hey, we, we just wanna take control of the Brooklyn Nets at this point. Everything else does not have to do with us. How we feeling? WL trade by Bleach Report. So now we have Ben Simmons, Mikel Bridges, DeAndre Aiden, TJ Warren, who I gotta uh, change his contract to be a one-year deal. See, we're gonna try to allow DeAndre Aiden to be a star. You know, he was drafted first overall because they thought that bro was gonna be that nice. And though he is an 86 right now, which is really good, um, He's obviously not a star, you know, I mean, like a star star. They got him over Luca, over Trey Young, over a lot of different people. So uh, we want him to be a star. We also want Ben Simmons to be a star in his role. We really don't have a point. You, should I just keep Russell Westbrook around? What do we have to lose? There's no reason to tank um, because we don't have any of our own first round picks this year. So I just keep Russell Westbrook around and say, hey, Russ, go average a triple double, whatever you need to do. Get your value up. So once you hit the open market next season, you can get yourself a little bag. That's what I'm going to say to Russell Westbrook. Come here and hoop. That's all we can ask for, honestly. Bro, Patty Mills is low-key bad, bro. Wow. Um, I guess we don't need it just because Klaxic can play four, and then we also have TJ Warren and Royce O'Neal who can play four. I forgot that we gave up a first-round pick to get Royce O'Neal. What the heck? All right, let's go to play progression. Okay, no movement from Mikel Bridges. Hopefully, we can get that to change with his increased role. Um, Sharp jumps up a little bit. Patty Mills drops a ton. But this is like in-season regression. If you've been playing the game for some time, you know. Either way, we're not a playoff team, obviously. But hey, we got a lot of Suns picks. Um, and two, two more to come. Don't think I forgot, Phoenix. New starter lineup is Russell Westbrook. It is Seth Curry, uh, Mikel Bridges, Ben Simmons, and DeAndre Aiden. Uh, it ain't good. and I, I never said it was. But you know what? Sim Ben Simmons and Sim DeAndre Aiden are low-key monsters. And one thing I want to do to help the progression of Mikhail, I'm, I'm up in his um, shot tendency, and I'm up in the shot tendency of DeAndre Aiden. You got the keys, my boy. Go take a lot of shots. Do whatever you really need to do. Russ, what is your shot tendency? Actually lower than I anticipated. All right, game one um, against Philly is a win. Woo, James Harden. Where you at? Oh, Cam, hey, Cam Thomas low-key. Cam Thomas should be starting. And the only reason I'm saying that is because Seth Curry, again, he don't really fit the timeline. We probably trading him at the deadline anyway. Um, and he only got one year left on his deal. Let the young boys play. Even with Joe Harris, he got a big old contract left, so maybe nobody's going to want him. But I'd rather have Cam go out there and take a lot of shots and he went most improved or whatever it is to get his, uh, his value up and uh, just become a better player. So we're going to have Cam started with Russell Westbrook. I think that we can be I. Right. I'm thinking play it. That's my goal, play it. Okay, I keep running to the same problem. Where I'm, I'm just trying to play the game and, and do these videos. Oh, it didn't save. So that's that's super fun. Um, and the game just crashes, and it's extremely unfortunate because I can't just play it. It just it just crashes. So I don't even know what my solution should be. Because I think that with all the player movement and new contracts and all of this stuff, the game just can't take it. 2K is not built to be played, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try one more remedy. Try to do the same stuff, but just differently. And if it don't work, then I, then you don't see this video, which is crazy. All right, so uh, I figured it out, but the roster is different now. So overalls are different. I think Russell Westbrook was a 78 in the last iteration. Now he's an 80. I don't think it matters too much. Seth Curry is still, you know, in the last year of his deal, like we mentioned. Um, pretty much everything is the same. I got to turn back on salary cap. Other than that, everything is the same. And Joe, man, I mean, Joe Harris is good. So that means I might be able to move him successfully. I do want to do the same thing, though. It was um, making sure that DeAndre Aiden takes more shots and Mikel Bridges takes more shots. And I do want to do the same thing because in the simulation that y'all saw, they got corrupted or, uh, or crashed. That man, Cam Thomas, was hoping. And I, I want to do that again because I want him to progress um, in this version, he's not as good, um, but I still want to give him the key, not the keys, but I still want to give him like real, real minutes. Uh, we're going to run a 10 man um, and again, just switch him out one, one quick time. I think we got enough pieces here that we can make some trades at the deadline. Seth Curry, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with Joe Harris. You know, we can get some more pieces. Um, they want to start, stop it. Ben, I just realized that Ben Simmons wasn't a starter. Uh, ben Simmons is one of our best players here. You know what I'm saying? So 
We're gonna give the minutes down here to Clax, give him a little bit more. And you know what's even crazier? In the foul, again, they got corrupt. We were the, like the 4-5 seed. Them boys was out there hooping. And now we gonna struggle. Watch this time around, we gonna struggle. That, that's the crazy part. So last thing I wanna do before we get back on the simulation, I wanna uh, load in the 2023 draft class, and then we back. Hey, 4 seed, 4 seed. 34-17 is elite. We are one game away from potentially being the one seed. Let me do this one game. If we win it, and it was against Kevin, and Kevin gave us the business for sure, but DeAndre Aiden gave his former team the business as well. Um, so we are the two seed, just like that. Th this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. L we are the one seed now. And I promise you, nothing has changed from what we normally play on. Th these boys just hoop. They got the pieces. And part of me don't even want to be sellers right now, but I know realistically we should be sellers. I mean, we're not going to win a championship with this team. Um, the Suns are actually a 500 team, basically. So Chris Paul, D-Book, Kevin is not enough with Bismack Biombo is your... But they got Dennis Schroeder in free agency. Uh, interesting stuff. All right, let's go try to see what teams are buying and see if we can... There's a buying team right there. All right, what could y'all use? Y'all want Seth Curry? Or Joe Harris. I think that's what you want. So, okay. Nuggets. Buying. The Suns are buying. Yeah, you probably should. You have Kevin, Chris Paul, and Devin Booker. You should probably get something else. But uh, we not helping you because we got your picks. The Warriors. Buyers. Okay. All right. 76ers buyers. The Cavs buyers. And they're not even, like, really good either. They said, hey, we got to get into the playoffs. So, um, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So many teams are buying. I mean, the list goes on and on on buyers. So, the Lakers are buying. Uh, Kyrie is at, over there at the shooting guard with, with KD and, and, them, and them. Oh, not KD. AD and them. And uh, they're the ninth seed. So, both of the people that we traded away are going to teams and they're underperforming. Let's go figure out which team would give us the most for Joe Harris or um, Royce O'Neal. You know, these are good players. Patty Mills. I'm not. All these people aren't getting traded, by the way. 100% Seth Curry should get traded because he's on the last year of his deal. Royce O'Neal should 100% get traded. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be it could be anybody. Uh, I think that the Nuggets were probably interested in the Royce O'Neal type. Don't they feel like a team? But they already have a couple power forwards. Okay, let's not go there. Because y'all use a... Ooh, you don't really have a backup four. Ooh, can we get Royce O'Neal to the Warriors for... I don't know what they would give us. $9 million. Uh-huh. Well, what you, what you got this matching about nine? You got exactly nine right here, but obviously, <laughs> obviously that's not it. I'll take Moses Moody off your hands. I, I'll take the young guy, and we'll also give you Ursan Ilyasova. Straight up, they say no. Well, if you're the buyers, I shouldn't be the one throwing in assets. So if we can't get Moses Moody from you, then we move on. <laughs> that's it. But like, when will Moses Moody ever get PT for you? You know what I'm saying? You just got so many players. No, but TJ Warren is another dude. TJ Warren is another dude that should be moved. What you average? Oh, TJ Warren's actually kind of nice. You know what? TJ might be here to stay. Can I? You think I can convince him to sign a multi-year deal when this the season is over? He's actually really good. So this team has a lot of centers, like a lot. They even traded for um, Daniel Tice. They got JaVale McGee. They got Dwight Powell. They got Christian Wood. So I'll I'll throw them Seth Curry. Send him back. You know he had one of his best years of his career when he's playing alongside Luka, and they just let him go. They're a team that's buying. He's averaging 12 points per game on 45% shooting from three. They gave us a 2026 20, completely unprotected. Is that realistic? No. But I never told you at the beginning of this video that it was realistic. You saw we spent the wheel to figure out which trade we was doing for Kevin. So, realism? No. But I'll take Maxi Kleba um, on the last year of his deal. You know, I might throw Bro to a third team. You know what? That's what we're doing. We're throwing Maxi to a third team. We just wanted to pick. Send him to the Pelicans. We'll take the contract that is Vontae Graham. It's a long contract, and it's $11 million a year, but we don't really care. We're not even thinking about that because we can move it down the line. Ray O'Neal's the next one to go. I actually made a my man on TJ Warren. We were 100% trading him for Moses Moody. Um, I got to think big picture, and that was my big picture move. Moses Moody, they want to start him. Um, how is our boy Cam performing? He was averaging 14. We can't take those minutes away. Vontae Graham definitely don't deserve it over him. So we're going to give Cam back his starter minutes for sure, um, and we're going to flip him. With Moses Moody. Moses is going to get minutes, man. You know, he ain't really got it when he was in the Golden State Warriors. But as a team that's on their retool, we'll take that. Royce O'Neal, I cannot find a real spot for him. So I might just throw Bro into the trade finder um, once the offseason comes around. Keep him keep him around for the time being. 
um, and, and let it just be that. You know, take his player option, then move it. Because I think we can still, we're still a playoff team after the trades that we did. It ain't like we did something dramatic. You know what I'm saying? We traded away some role players, got back some future assets. We got basically two first round picks in the trades we did. And then we got Moses Moody, who uh, might be a stud in a few years. So we go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. If we win a championship this first year, I don't even know what to tell you. That, that just means that the Brooklyn Nets should just do that trade right now. Jokic gets his third MVP award. Um, Chad Holmgren wins Rookie of the Year. Uh, I just watched him play his first game of Summer League, and bro, he was dogging. Um, so this might be real. I, I don't know. It's one game of Summer League, so that don't really mean that much. But I'm just saying, he was elite. And um, <laughs> that's all we really care about. Okay. All right. So we did make the playoffs. Kevin made an on the team on his new team. He averaged 27, 6, and 5, 50, 40, 90. He, yeah, he was looking, he was looking great. Um, we ended up falling down to the 4C, which makes sense. The Phoenix Suns? Playing team. Did they make it though? Phoenix Suns, playing team. Didn't even make it. Those picks are looking good, y'all. Delicioso. I'll take them. We're going against the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round, who have D'Angelo Russell now. So we um we traded Drew Holiday, I guess. Um, we lose game one. I'm not I, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm invested in the season. I we're not a championship team this year. Um, so I don't know why I'm trying to slow grind it. Let's get to the offseason where things are going to go down. And hopefully we make that next step to make us contenders. The champion is going to be the Wolves. The Rudy Gobert, Carr Anthony Towns experiment was, was really it. Um, the Drew Holiday edition was crazy. I forgot about that. No, Drew Holiday just took it over the top. They got Anyeka Okongwu? How? What trades went on? Hold on. I, I'm sorry. I know this is not what this video is about, but I'm invested. Torian Prince got them in Yekon Congo. If that ain't the steal of the NBA draft or not the NBA trade deadline, I don't know what it is. And then even this trade is a steal. Drew Holiday is actually like that if you didn't know. Um, and he gets them a championship. Chris Paul tries to retire. I'm going to tell him no. Just because they just invested so much in KD. They going to they gonna convince him not to retire because they, they need him. All right. So what is our offseason plan? That's our next question. Probably move Joe Harris over to his next team. Um, can we find a disgruntled star? Do you think that's a possibility? Let's take a look around the league. Um, is there going to be a team that has a disgruntled star that we could potentially j jump in on? The Bulls are selling. Um, the Bulls are selling. That's it's just interesting. I'm just kidding. This team was just buying last season, and now they're selling just like that. I'm just letting y'all know there are teams that this team is selling already, bro. Y'all just got together. I mean, I guess they traded Anyeka Kongu for Torian Prince and then traded Clint Capella somewhere else for what? What did you trade him for? Tyus Jones. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'm not disgruntled star. Oh, oh, I'm already, I already got my mind made up. I already got my mind made up. We're going over and trying to get Donovan Mitchell. Yep, I got my mind made up. I'm here for it. Do we have the pieces though? Why been Yama went to the Bulls? Oh, I see why y'all should actually sell. He's a stud. The, ja the Jazz got Scooter Henderson. All right. All right. Wait, there are two eight Thomases? Who are, who are these guys? Are these real people? Are those real people? I don't know anything about this draft class. I'm Googling it because... Oh, it's a real guy. It's real twins. Oh, snap. Well, obviously, Kenny. They're in the same draft class. And they're both last name Thomas. And they both got A starting starting their first name. Kenny, that's their... They're definitely twins. Um, Shout out to them. They both win the lottery. Um... They got the same, I know they're twins, but they got the same measurements, 6'8", 205. Same face, basically. One of them just a little bit happier. He's happy to go to New York. This guy's not happy to go to Orlando. Um, so, okay, this is what I'm, another D Mitchell? So you're trying to tell me, in the last five drafts, there's been three different D Mitchells, Donovan, Davion, and now Dylan? I'm learning stuff every single day. Every single day. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. They got Scoot and Henderson. They got Scoot. They think it to themselves. Okay, I can I can see a mindset where they're like, you know what? We can build with, with Scoot and Donovan. But I'm changing their mindset. Hey, we got Scoot. We trying to really hit bottom out again. Um, So let's, let me see if I can put together a package. Huh? What are we making? 30 M's? Okay, that makes it a little bit tough. Actually, it doesn't. Actually, it doesn't make it tough at all as far as contracts go. Because I'm taking Royce O'Neal's deal. And Royce O'Neal was beloved by Utah. Send him back. It's Joe Harris. It's um. It's Nicholas Claxton. It's Royce O'Neal. I probably got to get him a young player, right? Who's your Who's your center? 
Kessler Walker, right? You, I mean, Walker Kessler, not Kessler Walker. I'll, I'll, I'll give you Dayron Sharp. And then we got some picks. Ah. Uh, so this is an organization that took five first round picks for Rudy Gobert and decided we'll trade Donovan Mitchell for one. I'm not mad at it because I'm the one that benefited from it. But obviously not the most realistic thing. But did I, again, did I mention realism in this video? Absolutely not. And we kept Race O'Neal. I was supposed to trade him away. We kept him. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. Um, I don't know what, actually, I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Is there another, t let me go back to teams that are selling. Okay, nobody's selling anymore. Huh. That was fast. Now you're buying? You just gave away Donovan Mitchell and they're like, you know what, now it's time to get, get in, win that championship. Um, did not see that happening. Did not see that coming. I think we can be buyers, low key. We got Royce O'Neal's contract at uh, 9.5. We got Patty Mills at 7.5. We got Vontae, we're like 14 million. Um, nope, that's bad math. 12 million left each year. We can low key be buyers at the deadline. So right now, I wanna just fill in our roster with people that, that are competent. Um, I might start Mikhail at the four, Royce at the three to start off the season. Maybe Royce is gonna regress because he's 30. Our shooting guard position is stacked. We got Moses Moody, we got Cam Thomas. Point guard looks solid to me. I mean, you're going to see regression from Patty, but that's still okay. Backup centers are nothing, and the backup power forward is nothing. So let's go figure those positions out. I think it's more important to go after a good backup center. And they got a lot of older guys here. Hmm. If I sign Boogie, is he just going to regress immediately? Probably. But Boogie is Boogie, and I like Boogie. Russell Westbrook's not going to need a contract. He's affordable for us, too. I could bring Russ back. What is your average for us last year, Russ? I don't even know. That's This is a really good Russell Westbrook season, by the way. 15 points per game, 7 assists, uh, 6 and a half rebounds, almost 50. I'm going to round up for you, Russ. Almost 50% from the field and 37% from three. That's a really good season, but not for 20 amps. I would not bring you back for 20 amps. you actually bugging. Um, but I, I would have brought you back if you would have signed for the low, but he's not thinking about the low. I'll bring in George and Yang, and we got a full roster at this point. TJ Warren, I would have loved to bring you back, um, but we we dealt you we dealt you and and you might go back to the Warriors maybe. Who else won the offseason? The Lakers brought their guys back. LeBron on a one year deal, but Kyrie is under contract for a long time. The Bucks brought back D'Angelo Russell. Um, Miles Bridges got a contract with his hometown team. I guess he was in Miami last year. Freddie got re-signed. Miles Turner went to the Spurs. Okay, Tyler Hero went back to the Heat. All right, RJ went to Indy. The Pistons spent some money. Vucevic. Oh, man. They said, hey, we got Victor Wabanyama. We don't need Vucevic no more. And I, I, can, re I can definitely respect that. Because let's be real. If the Bulls got Victor Wabanyama, I'm sending the deuces. Oh, Donovan Mitchell's regressing. I'm sending the deuces to uh, uh, Nikola Vucevic myself. All right. So, I think we look good. You know, we were the fool. Patty Mills dropped dramatically. I don't even know who you are. Uh, but welcome to the team. Um, hmm. we were relying on Patty Mills to hold some value for the trade deadline, but he doesn't. Not that big of a deal, but it is it's something to think about. Or do I start Moody? Moody averaged, uh, a, oh, he don't shoot the ball, huh? What's your shot Tennessee at, Moody? 39? No, we're changing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not about to have you at a 39 shot Tennessee, especially since you can shoot. No way. No way, 2K. I understand he's a rookie on the Warriors, and he don't have a lot of opportunities because there's Steph Curry, there's Klay Thompson, there's Wiggins, there's Poole. But we about to stop acting like he shouldn't shoot. He was a first-round pick. What first-round pick that's a wing guard-type mode is coming to the league? I'm like, nah, I'm taking two shots per. Stop it. He's actually starting at the three for us. It's a little bit small, but we got Ben Simmons, who's 6'11". <laughs> who's so we got 6'11", we got 6'6", we got 6'11". Um, we got Cam Thomas as the sixth man. I'm going to take some minutes away from, from Vontae because we have so many people that can't play make. We don't need Vontae getting more minutes than what he's got. Um, actually, Vontae should not get any minutes. I'm okay with running the nine. And I want Cam to get six minutes a year type minutes. Um, I need Ben to get more minutes. I need Donovan to get more minutes. And I need my boy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and win, man. First game of the season is a big win, actually. And Cam is great. This is Cam's six man of the year campaign season. I lost. That's okay. We're going, this is a really good 76er team. And I saw some good stuff from DeAndre Aiden. Uh, let's, let's keep it going, though. I want to be buyers at the deadline, so we have to have a good record by that time. All right, so I'm looking around the league trying to figure out who are, who's selling or rebuilding. Nobody's selling. Literally nobody. But there are a few rebuilding teams that I'm interested in. So I got some people on my list. 
Um, and I was just looking at my roster like, what exactly do we need? We don't really have a legitimate four. Like, Mikael is our four, and he's averaging four rebounds per game. Um, it's just not ideal. Um, but luck, I mean, we got Ben Simmons. We got Ben Simmons. So I need to stop thinking like that. Ben Simmons is, is like the four. He's the one. He's the three. He's the everything. So his seven rebounds actually come in clutch with DeAndre Aiden, you know, holding it down the bulk of it. So actually, I'm not, I'm not tripping about it too much. So you know what? There's a guy out there that can help us get a lot of buckets. Victor Wabinyama is great, but the team isn't. DeMar's on the last year of his deal, so we ain't got to worry about paying him after this. He's averaging 19 points per game. He ain't attempted a three all season long, but why would he? Can I, can I somehow finesse? It's going to be like Vontae Graham. Got to make up 13 million. It's Vontae Graham, Patty Mills. Ooh, actually, this is not going to work, is it? Vontae Graham, Patty Mills. You can give us back Eric Gordon. We still got $6 million to make up. And that's what we throw in Royce O'Neal. But then we're giving up just so much depth that I don't even know if it's worth it at that point. Unless we can also get P.J. Washington in a deal. Now, obviously, they're going to say no. They want Moses Moody and Phoenix's pick. Phoenix is, is terrible. Um, so I want to keep it just in case we don't win. I'll give you the Rockets pick swap. They say no. And then I'll give you the Lakers pick from, from the Russell Westbrook slash Kyrie trade. They still say no. And what about the Mavericks pick from the Maxi Kleba trade? They still say no. Interesting. Interesting stuff. I do believe there are some workings for this to happen. I'm giving them salary filler for a rebuilding team and giving them potential three first round picks for two dudes on expirings. That seemed like a deal that, that would be done. Um, I wonder if I do reverse trade find what's going to happen. They probably going to want Moses Moody again, probably, right? So let's say um, DeMar DeRozan, PJ Washington, they want Donovan Mitchell. They want Mikael Bridges. They want Donovan Mitchell. So they're obviously um, not thinking exactly right. Can we somehow finagle this to be a three-teamer? So this is what it was originally. They wanted this pick, bro. But I'm so afraid to trade this pick just in case we don't win. When I say that the Suns are bad, I mean they're the 15th ranked team in the conference bad. And this package for a one year, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay, Bruno Caboclo to the Laker from the Lakers. Now we go back to talk to the Bulls and say, we want DeMar. We want PJ. I think, who was it? Who else was it? Was it Eric Gordon? And then we had to throw them uh, Royce, Vontae, Patty. You know, we do this. Send them to those teams. I send this guy here. You coming to me. These guys are coming to me. Right? Contractually, this all makes sense. The Lakers are still interested. But instead of you sending me the pick, you send it to the Bulls. And then I can now add the Bulls, this Rockets pick. And then I'll also give them the Mavericks pick. Three-teamer. Bro, y'all not budging? Can we can we somehow snag somebody else? Bro, Keldon Johnson's on a one-year deal with the Lakers. Sheesh. Do he really got to build up his value like that? I cannot give up that big pick for one-year rentals of DeMar DeRozan. He like 50 at this point. 33. I can't do that for a one-year rental. What about a different one of the Suns picks? Okay, this one is a little bit better. And then also the Lakers pick, right? The Lakers pick was interesting. Yes! We did it! Three-teamer is done. Hey, the Bulls just came up. They got three first-round picks, basically, for two expiring contracts. Like, that's that's really, really good value. Um, Bridges moves over. And now we got... Uh, we got Cam Moses Moody. How do we run this rotation, though? Because um, Cam was having a really good season. I can't just say that now that we got P.J. Washington, we lose our six man. Like, he's still our six man. Um, P.J. can run some five, but he's so small at 6'7". I got to give Boogie a little bit more minutes. Is this what our team looks like now? Wow. Championship? And you know what's crazy? It ain't championship a bust because we still got that pick that might be top one. So let me simulate the rest of the season, baby. I'm feeling good. Is that four in a row for Jokic? Uh, Victor Wabanyama wins Rookie of the Year. James Harden is now a six man behind. I don't know who. Um, Jeremy So 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 Chan Han So Chan So Chan wins Most Improved Player, and we won 61 games, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we like that. We re Kevin Durant made all NBA team still though. So like, they don't they did not make the playoffs. I mean, you can't be you can't go from 15th seed to like playoffs. Yeah. 22 total wins. That's with Chris Paul. That's with Devin Booker. Jay Sean Tate is on the team too. And then Kevin. Now they don't have any center play, it looks like, or any bench. Um, <laughs> uh, 
ah, that's what you signed up for. No, there's no world where those three players are on the same team and you only win 22 games. Unless it's injuries and we don't have injuries on in this. So like, finessed. I'll just say that. We finessed them. We were the, not the, the best record in the league though because the Timberwolves are like really not. How did you get Malcolm Brogdon? Yo, this team is elite. Oh my God. If we make it to the finals, we're rocking against these dudes and they are good. Like I said, this is not an all-in season, though, because we still got that pick. Um, James Harden is coming off the bench because Lonnie Walker is starting, by the way. Matisse Stiebel is starting, by the way. Uh, so, James Harden, you know, one of the greatest to ever do it. You know, top 75 player of all time. Just coming off the bench. Don't matter. that. Oh, the Bulls made it? Bro, I swear to you. I swear to you. They were a rebuilding team because they were like the 12th seed. Bro, they had to like really, really turn it up. Um, in their last 10, I mean, they was four and six. Their point differential was, this is crazy. Their point differential was basically zero and they were the four seed when their teams beneath them with way higher point differentials. They just somehow thugged it out and won games. They not gonna do it against us. Uh, DeMar's upset that they traded him. Um, so, I mean, Victor Wabanyama's insane. Insane. I mean, what can I say? I'm rooting for the Bulls, but they can't, they can't take a game. All right, we're going against Boston, who lost Malcolm Brogdon in the sign and I don't know exactly how, but this is the team that you know. Um, but Grant Williams would step up in the, the Al Horford role. Can they take a game? Oh, many loss, by the way, to Christian Wood and Luka and Kevon Looney. And oh, there's so much player movement. I'm in love. Can we sweep the Eastern Conference? Are we that nice with it? The answer is no. Dang. The answer is no. But we do get to the championship to go against the Mavs, who have exactly what I read to you. But now Cam Johnson is there as well. This team has some really good spacing for sure. I don't trust them defensively. I think we run all over them and we sweep them. Game one, we win by 41 points. Game two, we win by double digits. Game three, we win by double digits. Yeah, I, I thought this was going to be the case. DeAndre Aiden wins finals MVP. The wheel told us to trade for Aiden and it was great. Now, I know we it don't really matter because it's over, the video's over, but I wanna see what that Suns pick turned into. Can we somehow still get the first overall pick coming off a championship? No, but we would've got the second. That should, that's my pick. That should be my pick, y'all. We would've got the second. Can't complain though, we won. So we traded KD and ended in a championship. So that's a dub. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Tune back in tomorrow around the same time because there will be another video. I appreciate you, peace.